Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Big weekend of outdoor activities and we have active weather. But here's the thing, I'm gonna lay out everything. I want you to be weather aware and prepared for storms, but also I want you to know there's nothing in the forecast that is gonna wash out the entire weekend or have you cancel plans completely. We're in that summer pattern right now. Pop-up storms, scattered storms that last 30, 40 minutes at a time and then they're done. So this is not one of those things where it's a giant storm system that takes over the whole area all day long. So I just want to lay that out there because oftentimes I see people say, should I cancel my plans for a 40, 50, 60% chance of rain? When that chance of rain is just telling you the chance of a pop-up storm at some point during the day. So just want to lay that out there. We'll get into the details. Use this information to make your decisions accordingly. So what's happening today? Really not a lot. Today looks a lot like yesterday. We've got mostly sunny skies over us. We are watching a cluster of showers to the west, but actually this is the bigger deal back here. I'm gonna turn on the severe thunderstorm warnings because we've got some warnings with that system and likely gonna see a severe thunderstorm watch or tornado watch over in Tennessee. This is what we're watching for tonight. Will this cluster make it east? There's a lot of indications it will fall apart, but it's one of those things you can't write it off. But when that arrives, that would be late tonight into the overnight hours. I'm gonna turn off the satellite radar, We'll turn off all the watches and warnings, and we're gonna show you the severe weather outlook today, which I don't necessarily agree with, and I'll just be straightforward there. Now, I agree with this to the west, but for us, you see this low risk? This is kind of a catch-all. In case those storms try to make a run at us tonight, we might see some gusty winds, but I actually don't think this is gonna end up verifying today. So it's nothing to happen today. Tomorrow, the risk, again, for our area is generally low. Yeah, there's a low risk, it's a 5% chance, but severe weather is not a major concern. And when I say severe, large hail, tornadoes, and damaging winds. Can't rule it out, again, 5% chance. The bigger issue is lightning. Lightning, lightning, lightning. There's no severe criteria for lightning, but lightning is an issue that we have to worry about because that is gonna affect your outdoor plan. So let's get right to the forecast. All right, so let's dive into the forecast. I'm gonna start with not future cast, but the upper level pattern, because I wanna show you how complicated the forecast is and why there is a lot of uncertainty and there's been so much change to the forecast this week. We've had this upper trough coming in and there's indications that it's going to split off and become what we call a cutoff low. You see this area in blue? This is a piece of energy that essentially breaks off from the jet stream and gets trapped. There's another one here and we're basically getting this omega blocking configuration the greek letter omega if you're familiar with that that's what you're seeing right there whoops i don't know why that happened we'll delete that out of the way um, but that greek letter omega is showing up there that is an indication of a pattern that's stagnant or not moving and forecast guidance and modeling is really difficult with things that don't move and are stagnant no matter how great ai is or um, forecasting technology when things aren't moving when you don't have numbers to calculate forward speeds and motion the models tend to get freaked out a little bit. Um, and that's actually a good indication. When you see that, that tells you we're in a stagnant or stalled pattern. You know, think about your GPS in your car. If your car is not moving and you put in a destination, it doesn't know when you're gonna get there until it has some idea of a forward speed or motion or traffic patterns. In this case, in the atmosphere, when nothing's moving, it's hard to calculate when things are gonna happen. So that's why you get a lot of uncertainty in this pattern. And again, this could be a bust forecast. You could end up with a ton of rain if this thing stalls over you, or it could stall a little further north and you get little to no rain. That's why there's so much huge fluctuations in the forecast. So just wanted to show you that in the upper levels because that explains a lot of what's happening with the wacky forecast this week. So let's get back to the forecast, future cast of radar so you can plan. All right, so we'll go to the future cast. And you honestly have to stay weather aware this weekend because this could change based on things with these storms. So right now, this is the future cast as of 10 a.m. this morning. On Friday, we'll go through this afternoon. I'm gonna stop this around four or five o'clock. Love and Life Music Festival's going on. People are getting in uptown. People are getting out of work early. Um, big cluster of storms. This is what I'll be watching all day. What is this thing gonna do tonight? For us, just like yesterday, yeah, there could be an isolated shower storm, but look how scattered and isolated they are. You're talking like 20, 30%. This is by 5.30, this is 6, 7. So love and life's going on this evening. Main acts are coming on. Big cluster of storms to the west. That's why that is like the thing I'm watching. You can see that to our west, right? 
that is what I'm watching. And likely that's going to come in overnight. So this is 8, 16, 9, 10, 11. So we're getting past concert time. Oof, hopefully, fingers crossed, no issues tonight. And I really think 90% chance we're going to be fine tonight. We go into the overnight hours. Here comes that storm system from the west. You could see this is 1 o'clock in the morning. So we could have storms overnight tonight into early Saturday morning. This is 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You could see that thing falling apart, but still heading our way. We go into Saturday morning. You wake up. This is 7.30 in the morning. Those storms that have moved through, the nice thing about having overnight storms, they tend to use up all the energy and stabilize things, at least temporarily. If the sun comes out Saturday for several hours, then we got to worry about another round. So we'll get to about the middle of the day. This is around 12, 18 um, tomorrow or Saturday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. You see a couple isolated storms. I don't know how many we'll see because the atmosphere is going to be pretty worked over. It's all going to be about what this thing is doing. So I'm not 100% sure we're going to see anything, but just a heads up, we could see isolated storms in the afternoon Saturday. By the time we get to 3 o'clock, things start ramping back up. We see some scattered storms around the area. And again, this is just one indication of where they are right now. They could be anywhere depending on the setup during the afternoon. That's the thing about pop-up storms. It's like looking at water boiling on your stove and trying to figure out where the bubbles are going to form at the bottom of the pot. You just don't know until this gets going. But we know there's going to be some around um, as we go into the afternoon. So this is 4 o'clock. You see those clustered storms. We get towards 5, 6. It becomes more scattered. It really does um, through time. The main line looks to be in the evening hours. I would say after 8 o'clock is probably our highest chance. But even here, a lot of the guidance is kind of uncertain. How much rain is there going to be? Is it going to be scattered? Is it going to be a big shield of rain? So it's kind of hard to say how much we're going to see with this. So I'll go back to Saturday. We go into the evening hours. The one thing I will tell you, that evening time frame, you see 5, 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow night, there's going to be rain somewhere in here. It's just a matter of where it sets up. And again, rain isn't necessarily the bad thing for these outdoor events. I know you don't want to get wet, but concerts are going to go on if it's raining. They will not go on if there's lightning. Lightning is the concern. That's why I say lightning, lightning, lightning. Just rain is not a big deal. Yeah, you need a poncho. It's not great maybe to sit in or stand in, but the concert's going to go on. If we get lightning, then it's a different story. Um, same story for the Fort Mill you know, Strawberry Festival. Um, rain, not, not a great thing there, but lightning and severe weather is a major concern for safety. So we go to about 9, 10 o'clock. Things are kind of waning a little bit here, and then the rain comes back. I do think Saturday night is going to be our wettest part of the weekend because by Sunday, there's a real good chance we could get what's called dry slotted. The, the, the actual upper low is here. The front is here, and dry air gets pushed in here, and that could really stabilize things for Sunday. So Sunday's looking up. If you had to ask me right now, the worst weather this weekend is going to happen Saturday evening. So plan accordingly. And as you're seeing in all this, it's not raining everywhere all day, right? I mean, today, no issues. Tonight, yeah, we have storms moving in. Saturday during the day, let's say I have a soccer game in the morning. My kids are playing at 11 a.m. Here's 11 a.m. There's some scattered storms around, but there's a lot of areas where nothing's happening. We go into the afternoon. My kids got a game at 4 o'clock. Yes, there's rain possibly somewhere around, but there's a lot of dry areas as well. I think we often focus on where the rain is, but notice there's a lot of areas where there isn't rain. Um, and if your house needs water, you probably notice this more often than anybody. So just be wary of the overall picture. There's a lot going on across the entire region. But you could see at some point Saturday night, those chances ramp up. So we'll keep an eye on it. Stay weather aware Saturday for lightning. Um, I have my radar, my radar up and running. We'll keep an eye on lightning threats for Uptown, for Kendrick Lamar, as well as Love and Life Music Festival. I will be posted on social media if there's lightning within eight miles of the stadium or six miles of the festival. Those are the criteria we're using for the weekend. Stay safe, stay weather aware, and we'll have you covered.